Hello and welcome back to another Python Pro tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to talk about while loops. Um, if you've seen my tutorials before, you've probably seen me use a while loop once or twice. Basically, what a while loop does is just reruns a block of code until the test that's contained in the while loop um, returns false. So while loops are pretty basic. A uh, while loop can have an else statement in it and stuff like that too, but uh, they're pretty basic. All they do is just re repeat a block of code until something returns false. So let's go ahead and just take a look at it. Um, uh, fire up your interpreter, Python 3. Uh, so what we're going to do is first we're going to do something called a continuous loop. Um, if you're working with while loops or for loops or anything like that, it's pretty important to know how to get out of a continuous loop because eventually you'll put yourself in one. And what a continuous loop is, is the computer, it's just going to keep running the code, running the code, running the code, and there's like really no way to stop it but um, pushing control C uh, on your computer. All right, so let's just take a look at what I'm talking about. So while uh, true, all right, so this statement's true and it's going to continue to run. So while true, there's no way for me to change true once I set this. So um, I'm just going to go in and put uh, print ha ha ha. I'm basically laughing at myself because I put myself in a continuous loop. So let's go ahead and you see it just continues running, running, running. And I can push a bunch of buttons on my computer. It's not going to work or on my keypad. So what I got to do is control C. All right. And that's how we get out of it. So you guys understand how to get out of it when you put yourself into one. So we saw the basic uh, um, syntax of a while loop, which is while and then the test. So if this returns true, it will run the block of code below it. If not, um, if this returns false and there's nothing, there's no else statement in it, it's just going to skip over. It's not going to run it. All right. So. Let's try uh, something different. Let's do a while false. All right, and we're gonna say print false. It won't print this because it's false. And then we can do else, and we can do um, print else. All right, and we run it, and it's just gonna print back else. So all right, so. It doesn't continue to loop through the else statement. It just prints back else, and that's done. It's over with. Now, if we had while true, it would just keep printing false. All right? So while loops are so easy, um, I, I wanted to you know give you guys a little bit more in this tutorial. So what we're going to do is build a little uh, program. And what our program is going to basically be is going to be a little game, and the user guesses uh, or um, tries to name as many colors as they possibly can all right and we'll keep score and uh, we'll also and we'll use a while loop and we'll keep asking the user to enter another color or enter stop to stop the while loop all right so it's just a little bonus for you guys because I really didn't know what else to talk about when it came to while loops so you guys are going to get a bonus today so let's go ahead and open your text editor save your file as um, while.py all right at the top of your file first thing i want to do is i want to get an empty list and this is going to hold our um users uh colors that they pick so we can keep track of them so we're going to have uh colors will be our variable and it's going to represent an empty list simple as that all right uh next thing we're going to have is a variable stop and this is going to be set to true initially and what this variable is going to do is um, it's going to be part of our while loop and it's going to be part of the test. If the user enters stop all right, in the um, input section of our program, uh, we're going to make it change this to false and stop the while loop. All right. So right now that's just going to represent true. Now I'm just going to have a little print statement to look at, make it look a little uh, neater and say how many colors can you name all right something like that and then below that we'll have our while loop so while stop all right so while stop and stop set to true so this is going to run while stop now we're going to get the user's uh, response so we'll get name it uh, variable response and we'll use input and then in here we'll say 
choose a color. And I'm going to do a new line, so uh, backslash N. And then I'll do, if you're done, enter, stop. All right. So we got the user's response. So we're getting input from the user. Then I'm going to say if response dot case fold. All right, because if the user uses like a capital or uses all caps in the stop, we're going to get uh, it's just going to continue to run. So we want to take the user's response and make it lowercase. Well, actually, no case at all. Case fold is equal to stop. We're going to do something, and what we're going to do is we're going to set this to false. So we'll do stop and assign it false. All right. So that will stop our while loop. Then down here, we're going to do an else statement because if it's not matching stop, then we're going to just continue on with our program. And in there, we're going to say uh, what I want to do in our game is if the user. Um, already picked a color then the game stops because uh, they lost or something like that so we'll do uh, if response in colors yeah use colors then we're gonna do a uh, print you lose all right and then we're gonna do a uh, stop is equal to false and then we'll do else down here and we'll go colors and we're going to append the color the user picked to our empty list up here so we'll do a response and then we'll keep score so we'll set score to length of colors all right so we're just getting how many objects are in the colors uh, list let me just shorten this up so you guys can uh see everything here there we go and then we're going to do uh, a print statement just to print the score back so uh, your score is blah blah so that's our we're going to use a format I didn't mean to say blah blah when I'm coding on my own I tend to say words that don't make sense myself alright so um, we're going to insert score here and then we'll print out the colors just so we can see which ones are chosen. And then that should be our program. So let's go ahead and run it and hopefully it works. I'll get out of our interpreter. Control D. Command K. And then we're going to do Python 3 while.py. I'm going to run it. It says, How many colors can you name? Choose a color. If you're done, enter stop. So I'll say blue and I'll say red. And as you notice, it continues to loop through and ask me colors. Um, I got blue, I got blue and red. And then I'll have green. Now I got blue, red, and green. And what happens if I enter blue again? Up, oh, you lose. All right. So let's run this one more time to look at the other. Uh, let's say I do white. And then I'll do stop and it stops the program. All right. So uh, that's pretty simple. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I, I mean, I know it's a pretty lame game. And I try to come up with ideas while I'm going through here to help you guys uh, better understand how we use some of these things. Um, so if you guys have any ideas, you know, uh, that you would like to see, let me know. All right. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we talk about for loops, I believe. I'll see you then.